Hello! Welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back if you've been around for the very short time that I've been around. I am doing my completed pages for the month of May video, and we are just going to jump right into it. We've got Mini Pusheen. Um, I did this for the Ever Be Day Fun prompt. There's some glitter gel pen on there. I also tried to make the flame look more like a flame. That's Forever Be Day Fun. That is Mini Pusheen by Claire Belton. Next, I have this little booklet. This is, uh, from a series I believe I got from Publishers Clearinghouse. Um, just happened to actually open that uh, sweepstakes envelope up and look through the things because sometimes they actually have some pretty cool things uh, that you just can't find anywhere else. These were, I have probably a good dozen of these. Um, I want to say it was four different sets but I got them all together. So, you know, very small not great quality at all, but for something fun and quick, it is two-sided, and uh, the print on the other side ghosts through, so very thin paper, but some cute images nonetheless. Um, I also did this for the Ever Be Day Fun hashtag, coffee. Um, I did use alcohol markers. It did bleed through. I don't care. Um, I'm almost certain I would have never colored that picture. Anyway, now watch me get a, you know, buggy, like horse and buggy prompt. I'm sure I have some horse and buggy things in other books, like Disney things with Cinderella possibly. I don't know. So that was classic coloring. New Seasons, a Division of Publications International. Yeah. And here we have Art Therapy Mangas. Uh, this was a Amazon France purchase. Um, I did a picture in here for Mermay and... Uh, so Josa Hannah on, well, she's on YouTube and on Instagram, um, she saw that I posted my mermaid on Instagram and she apparently has had this book, had had this book in a car on, I want to say it's called Lyrica, um, another French website, or European anyway, uh, and asked me to do a flip through, so I did, that is on my channel. Uh, and then uh, we did a buddy color. So my first ever finished buddy color in this book. So I have two pages. Uh, art therapy mangas, illustrations by Aurelia Stephanie Bertrand. This is a hatchet hero book. So this was the buddy color with Jojo Zahanna which I will tag her in and check out her YouTube channel and uh, Instagram. So what I used for this was my uh, ink glitter markers that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, and I used each color kind of in rainbow order and then when I was going to color the dress I took the two colors from the backgrounds and used them for the dress in that one so purple flowers orange dress this one pink flowers yellow dress and so on and so on all the way around and then uh, did accents in gold 
tried to make their eyes actually look kind of like eyes did the little geisha lips and uh, just did the background a wash of gray because there's already a lot of color happening there so that was my buddy color with Jojo Zahanna I'm super stoked to be able to work with her again I hope um, it was a fun experience we had fun corresponding and uh, definitely definitely open to doing some more collaborations with her so this is the mermaid page that I did for mermaid this is uh, did this with my what did I do it with Oluhu Pastel Alcohol Markers. And then I used my Link Glitter Gel Pens for everything but the green stuff, which was a Pentel Duo Metallic Glitter Gel Pen, yellow and green. And I used White Jelly Roll outline the bubbles and the pearls and I used a little bit of uh, yellow jelly roll in there too so that was fun and I, I used you know, alcohol markers so it bled through but no big deal there's a hundred pictures in here and if I ever got around to actually coloring every single page that I have I would have to be coloring 24 7 for the rest of my life i'm sure so there's that and you know if i absolutely feel that i need to color that page i i can still do so i will paint it so that is art therapy mangas a french amazon book illustrations by aurelia stephanie bertrand next I have Delightful Color by Numbers by David Woodruff. Um, I have a full flip of this book on my channel. Um, it was requested that I do so and of course I don't have that name sitting in front of me. I'm not very happy about that. Um, I did the introduction page it I did it with super fine sharpies and then I decided to do a little bit of a background with my new wink of Stella's which fantastic stuff all of that bled through crazily but that's okay these are one-sided uh, this is a smaller book I don't think I have a normal sized one without toppling a pile. But yeah, I did a, a flip through of this book. That is the only page that I've done in here so far. There's all the solutions. My blotter pages cut to size. And the palette flips out <clears throat> so you can have the have it on whatever page that you're doing and still have that accessible easily accessible so that is delightful color by numbers by David Woodruff uh, and this is actually a, a full page in here somewhere so there is a whole page of that Next, I have Lori Craig Mandela's Adult Coloring Book. Um, I found her on Instagram. I thoroughly enjoy her books. Um, like I said, I just joined her coloring team. I did get some uh, 
PDFs of her new Grayscale Tropical Flower Book. I will be doing some of those soon. Um, I did the very last page in here. Did that with uh, Ultra Fine Bix. And there is a little bit of glitter gel pen in some of those white spots. I don't know if that's coming through or not. This was a very fun page to color. I did have to take breaks here and there because it, it was a lot of tiny, tiny details, but good fun. And that's what the back looks like. And it was the last page, so I didn't put a blotter page in there, and I like how that looks too. So that is Adult Coloring Book, Lori Craig. 40 unique images from easy to oh my god, eight and a half by eight and a half inches. Reduce stress and anxiety. Next, I did a sticker by number for the Ever Be Day Fun tag. Um, I did this kitty that's on the uh, cover. So there it is. It's all little stickers. Sticker by number. Ever Be Day Fun. Hashtag. Um, I like that the backgrounds look geometric and nifty also. So that's how it starts out looking. And then you get your sticker sheets. And they have corresponding numbers. And then you sticker by number. And now I can't find my kitty because I took my tag off. Oh, I did fishes a while back. So that is Brain Games Sticker by Number Animals. There's all the different pages that are in here. And it is spiral bound, so you can completely flip the cover back and not hurt the book. Next, I have Secret Paris. I want to say this is a book outlet purchase. Pardon my zooming. And I colored this coffee page for Ever Be Day Fun. Hashtag. Um, I did this with Crayola crayons. It took all of maybe five minutes. It was good fun. That is in Secret Paris. Color your way to calm. Zoe de las Casas. Next, I finished my very first Kirby Roseanne's page. Or Kirby Rosanis, however you say it. Very first one I've gotten done. Um, I do have a lot of his books and I just have not colored in them. Um, I got this done on the very last day of May. Uh, it is for the Ogle Ranny prompt this week of Spider. So this page started out like that page and I used my Tombow water-based dual tip brush pen to uh, color the background. And then I used my Amazon basic colored pencils to do this kind of glowing effect. I used a white and a gray. And I didn't want to get too crazy with all the little things that he throws in his pictures. And uh, so I just did them all gold. And then used the yellow colored pencil to kind of make more glowing effect around those. And then my spider I wanted it to make it look like it was a peacock tarantula. So that is what I did. And I also used the Amazon Basics color pencil to make that look like it's glowing also. So that is my Olga Rani find in color spider hashtag page.
and first ever finished page in Kirby Roseanne's. In Imagimorphia. Uh, next, I did a page in Neuro Relax Coloring Therapy. Um, I was trying to figure out how to remedy the it has very thin and faint lines and I wanted to be able to use my alcohol markers in it and they would bleed together and I've done other pages and you know done other things to mask that but this time I tried to do preventative things so this one before I put any marker on the page I went over all the outlines with an acrylic paint pen and that seems to do the trick. Um, I did choose these colors frequently when I'm doing these kinds of pages. I just randomly choose colors, but I did actually choose these, uh, and it is the cover image, which is crazy. Um, I just flipped it open and did the first page, and uh, that's how it turned out. Pretty pleased with it. So that is Neuro Relax Coloring Therapy. This is another Neuro Relax Coloring book. Um, I did the same thing in here. I went over all the outlines with an acrylic paint pen. I also apparently made a border or a frame. And then picked out, wanted to do mon monochromatic on this one, so I just picked out a bunch of grains and went to town. I really like how these turned out. I may do a whole one in acrylic paint pen. Who knows? So that is Neuro Relax Creative Therapy. Next, I did a page in Kaiwai Coloring. Chibi Girl, Cat, and Plants. Uh, this was for a hashtag plant parent, plant parenthood, all that fun stuff. Um, Alan Austin is also a person that I found on Instagram. I've got a couple of his books, or her books, their books, how's that? Um, and I did a page that I did not mark. There it is, this page. They're one-sided, they're bordered. I like that. It is Amazon printed paper. And I did this with alcohol markers. Did not take long at all. Um, I posted this on Instagram. And they commented back that they really enjoyed my wallpaper look that I did for the background. I also got to say that all these yellow backgrounds that you'll be seeing is uh, Danny Button's fault, by the way. Um, she's always saying, been a long-time watcher of her channel, when in doubt, do a yellow background. And it has not failed me yet, so thank you for that advice, Danny Buttons. Um, I will link you in the description. And uh, try to give you a time of when I'm mentioning you. Anywho, um... I love plants, I love cats, and this is a fun book. Fun book. So that is Kaiwai Coloring Book, Chibi Girl, Cat, and Plants by Alan Austin. This next book is also a Lori Craig Mandala book. Uh, this is Beautiful and Intricate Coloring Book for Adults, Volume 2. I colored this one for Mandala May. I used Ultrafine Sharpies. Or maybe I used the Ultrafine Bix again. I don't remember. It's one of the Ultrafine permanent markers. And some Link Glitter Gel Pen. Like I said, I've, I've joined Lori's 
coloring team. I'm very excited about that. Um, so you'll be seeing quite a bit of her stuff on here. And that is Lori Craig on Instagram. That's how I found these books. So that is Beautiful and Intricate Coloring Book for Adults, Volume 2, You Bring the Color by Lori Craig. Now there's also You know, some very intricate ones, some not so intricate ones. Fun stuff. Next, I have Grim Coloring Book Dots, Lines, and Spirals. I finished the first one. I think this is the Muse, the Muse, from uh, an episode on that series. So that is the first one that I finished in this book. And I used an Arteza fine liner, and then for the big areas I used my Tombow brush marker. They are one-sided. Lots of fun. So that is Grim Coloring Book Dots, Lines, and Spirals. And there's no other info. And it is Amazon printed paper. Good show. This is The Money Book, an adult magic book with money and richness symbols to color, color by number version. This is by the Belba family. Um, there is a non-color by number version of this book. I chose to get the color by number one. Uh, this page I did with super tips and a little bit of glitter gel pen. We outlined the clouds and did the center of the flowers. I outlined the little gem too. Uh, this was for Ever Be Day Fun. This was uh, gnomes. I think I hit all of the uh, categories but two. So gnomes in a color by number in the money book by the Belva family. For Ever Be Day Fun. Next, I have All Time Hits, 100 Color by Number by Sachin Sachdeva. I did this one also for Ever Be Day Fun hashtag. Halloween was one of the categories. So I did that one. I don't think there's any glitter gel pen in there. I do believe that was all done with super tips. That is All Time Hits, 100 Color by Numbers by Session Sachdeva. Next is Menopause, the Coloring Book, a fun collection of pop art coloring designs for women of a certain age. Um, on Instagram, Happy Man Press, I had been seeing previews. Uh, sneak peeks of this book, and I absolutely loved it. Um, so I was messaged and asked if I wanted to receive a copy and do a review, and I said, heck yes. So got the book, colored in it. Um, I'm going to do some other mediums before I do a full review. Um, that will be soon. Uh, it is Amazon printed paper matte cover very soft um, very humorous book I like it a lot um, this is the page that I did and I actually I used alcohol markers and a little bit of jelly roll in there for the eye jelly roll moonlight I really like how that eye turned out I'm not too happy with the eye makeup, which is actual eye makeup. 
And then I used my Fly C Chrome paint pen for the stars and my which which gel glitter gel pens the new ones so color the so color ones for that O M G so yeah fun book um. All my pants are sassy. I've done a full flip of this also on my page. It, it's it's good fun. I thoroughly enjoyed coloring that page. Like I said, I'm going to do one or two more in, in another medium to uh, give it a full review. And uh, we'll record that. So that is Menopause, the coloring book by Happy Man Press. Next, I have the newest issue of Mystery Colors, Amazing Animals. I did this bug. Again, with the yellow background. Though I did not choose it. But I think I did choose it because it had a yellow background. Um, I just kept flipping through and landing on this page. And I did look it up before I started it. So... Yep, I did this with uh, my Shuttle Art permanent markers. Amazon Basics is what I thought I was ordering, but it got to me and it said Shuttle Art, so there's that bug in Mystery Colors Amazing Animals. Oh, that is my first page that I've done in all of my Mystery Colors magazines also. So this is Stained Glass Color by Number by David Woodruff. I did this page. I uh, did all the colors with alcohol markers. And then I did my all the black leading with uh, Sharpies, black Sharpies. Um, in here I, I did with the ultra fine sharpie and the rest I did with a regular fine tip. I am thoroughly enjoying this book. I have this in here because um, I'm not sure if my alcohol markers will be discoloring other pages. And uh, I've not had that happen to me yet, but... Um, I've seen it happen to a lot of other people, so I was protecting my page just in case. Next, I have Jade Summer Intricate Patterns. And I did this page. Um, inside the diamonds, I used my Arteza Everblend alcohol markers, three different grays. I got the grayscale set. Um, and then the other, the lattice parts, are, is Wink of Stella. Uh, that is just fun. And it is very wet-ish, so got a bit of a crinkly page there, which I kind of like. Um, and then I did these in Sharpies, and some of that is metallic Sharpie. And then I outlined in uh, Jelly Roll Moonlight Neons. So, this page was a lot of fun. I was going to outline the blue ones with a different color, and that's why I got my other Jelly Roll Moonlight pens, and I ended up just using one that I already had anyway. So, whatever. <laughs> I'll use them. I really, really like the Wink of Stella. I'm having a lot of fun with all that shininess. That is Intricate Patterns by Jade Summer. Hardcover book. Amazon printed paper. Next, I have Intricate Flowers by Jade Summer. Hardcover book. 
Amazon printed paper. And in this one, I did this page. Um, I used my Sharpies. And I used, for the gold middles of the flowers, I used my ink glitter marker. And then I used a cell color glitter gel pen for the shiny blue bits. And I wanted to kind of differentiate the outside flowers from the inside flowers, so I outlined the outside ones with Jelly Roll White. And I did do a little bit of shading in the flowers also. You can see it much more in person, not so much on camera. But I I am really enjoying these Jade Summer intricate books. Um, I will be doing a lot in here also. So, fun book. I really like it. Pardon the motorcycle noise out there. So that is Intricate Flowers by Jade Summer. Next, I have Dark, Dreamy, and Enchanting a fantastical Halloween adult coloring book by Stormy Weather. Uh, found this person on Instagram. Um, I did the first page, the nameplate page, and I used permanent markers, I believe Sharpies. The moon is a combination of neon and metallic metallic marker. There's some glitter gel pen in there. Those are my cell color glitter gel pens. And it's glowy. So you have some good UV reactive glitter gel pens in that cell color set. So that is dark, dreamy, and Enchanting a Fantastical Halloween Adult Coloring Book by Stormy Weather. Next, I did the nameplate first page in Christmas Coloring Book by Stormy Weather. So again, I used Sharpies and Cell Color Glitter Gel Pens. I really really like these books. They they are just fantastic. I like whimsical and fun off the wall kind of stuff and that's what these books are. Uh, quick fun page. I like that the cell color pens uh, do match up to a lot of colors that you don't normally find in glitter gel pens. And they are very high quality. So that is Christmas Coloring Book by Stormy Weather. And last, but certainly not least, The Wondrous World of Surrealism by Stormy Weather. This, uh, I also did the first page and nameplate page. So again, Sharpies, cell color glitter gel pens. I even attempted at some uh, blending of glitter gel pens. I think that turned out pretty nice. And then outlined the wing parts of all the winged creatures with Jelly Roll White. And then my yellow background. Thank you, Danny Buttons. So that is The Wondrous World of Surrealism by Stormy Weather. That is everything that I have colored for the month of May. I thank you oh so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.